that honors the best of the best in poker. The Music Box Theatre in LA played host to the biggest party of the poker scene. The Card Player Magazine Card Player of the Year Awards presented by Bodog.net. Are we ready? And one right here. And welcome to the Card Players Card Player of the Year Award, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. America is just now finding out what I've known for 50 something years that poker is the greatest game there is. And I think that now finally the public is starting to see that it's, uh, you know, it's an incredible game. The seedy world of poker and the glamorous world of Hollywood are intersecting <laughs> right here at Hollywood and Vine. Strip poker, I thought, would become really big, not hold them. So uh, that's why I'm wearing no pants. You probably don't know. Don't look, don't, don't. Inside, things got heated up and Master of Ceremonies Brad Garrett dealt out more than Ladies awards to the poker elite. Please welcome your host, Brad Garrett. It's really an unbelievable honor to be here. I'm just up here thinking who said no before the seven foot Jew got a call, you know? I met some of you last year during the main event in Las Vegas. I only lasted nine hours which is about as long as anybody can be in a jail cell with Mike Matasau. <laughs> Bill Ivey is here. What's with those eyes darting around? What the hell is going on? <laughs> Awards were given out in a number of categories with votes coming straight from the players themselves. Chip Reese got the party started winning Best Cash Player of the Year. The next award is for Poker Ambassador. The presented is Mike Matasau. Having Mike present this award for Poker Ambassador, it's like having Nick Cheney present the award for Best Marksman. <laughs> Please, if you will, welcome my hero, Mike the Mount Madison. And the winner for Poker Ambassador of the Year goes to Mike Sexton. <laughs> Phil Ivey won in three categories he was nominated for including most feared player. I didn't realize why everybody, everybody was so afraid of until I saw the comedian out here making fun of me and that, those, those eyes of mine, he was going like this. So now I, now I understand a little better. Our host and famous tournament director, Matt Savage, got in on the action presenting two awards. And Hollywood veteran, actress Jennifer Tilly presented an award, then knocked down Gabe Kaplan and Toby Maguire for best celebrity poker player. How about that? It's too bad they don't have a category for most overrated player of the year, because then maybe I'd win two awards. <laughs> or maybe my boyfriend would win that one. Anyhow. The most entertaining player award goes to. Mike the Mouth. <laughs> this is great. All right. Speaking of entertaining, somebody fire the friggin' bartender. How the hell the bar closed already? And one of the most prestigious awards of the evening, the People's Choice favorite poker player had an all-star lineup of nominees, with Daniel Negreanu taking home the trophy. Yes, I won one. Sweet. Entertainment for the night was on par with any major award show, with performances by former Eagles rocker Don Felder and Guns N' Roses guitarist Izzy Stradlin. The most respected man in the game of poker was given credit for everything he has done in the last 50 years. Poker legend Doyle Brunson received top honors with the Lifetime Achievement Award. In presenting this Lifetime Achievement Award, you have to think of who most deserves it. And certainly, the man you're going to soon greet deserves it most, and I don't think there's a close second. Brunson, now 72, is the Babe Ruth, the Michael Jordan, and the Arnold Palmer of poker. He virtually invented the phenomenon that is Texas Hold'em. He paved the way for a sport once viewed to be played only by roughnecks and criminals but is now played by today's world leaders and top executives. Doyle.
And all these years back when I was traveling around the South, I was trying to keep them getting cheated, robbed, and arrested. Uh, I wonder what it would be like to be a celebrity. Well, you know, thanks to the media and, and the television and everything, and people, you know, they recognize you now. Some girl like these girls. Bulldog girls. girls. They come up and they say, oh, you're Doyle Brunson, we love you. You know, I throw my chest out and show them a little bicep that I don't have anymore. <laughs> and they always come with the same line, you remind us of your gra our grandfather. <laughs> and that, uh, that sucks. <laughs> you know, I think in, in life, as well as in poker, is that a lot of us have some tough times, some bad breaks, and, but you gotta remember, you gotta play the hand that's dealt to you. And the only thing we can do is play that hand to the best of our ability. And that's what I've tried to do, and that's what I've encouraged all you guys to do. Thank you very much. The biggest award for the night was the Card Player of the Year Award, presented by Phil Helmuth. This award was given to the year's top dog of poker. Card Player of the Year for 2005, Min, the master, Nguyen. This is the fourth time, baby! It, it was very difficult for me to win this year because I took up a lot of time for the charity work. I went to Vietnam in May with my wife, Van. We bring the money back home to buy 15,000 ton of rice to give it out to the hungry people and the children in Vietnam. the money, but I give it now. Okay, English, English. <laughs> I want so much money, yes. but I give it now for okay. the charity. You, you know what I should do? I should lift you and thank the Academy. <laughs> You're the best. We've had a great evening on behalf of all of you. Thank you very much. God bless. May your pots be big, like men. Have a great night. Thank you very much.